Hey gamers, <laughs> welcome back to the A-Side. I'm your host, Riley, and uh, <clears throat> Joji just put out a new record entitled Smithereens. It's pretty short, it's, it's nine hours, and nine hours, nine songs, and 24 minutes, so I thought I'd do a, thought I'd do a little reaction to it. Um, yeah, so my history with Joji, of course, I was on the internet quite a bit in the era of Filthy Frank. Um, I would have been in middle school, um, so it would have been the perfect time for me to be exposed to him. Uh, and the memes were glorious, they still are. Um, but then he left that persona behind to pursue a uh, music career as Joji, George Miller. Um, and I had heard about him, but didn't actually listen to any of his music until, um, Nectar, which I, at the time, I think it was, what, 2019, 2020, when Nectar came out. I wasn't into it. I thought it was alright, nice sounding, but rather boring. Um, it wasn't until later that I heard Slow Dancing in the Dark and thought that song was brilliant, and, and then uh, continued uh, to do a reaction to all the ballads, one on this uh, channel, and absolutely loved it. Um, so now I'm going to do a reaction to the new uh, album, Smithereens. But before I get started... Uh, if you're new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe later if you want. Anyway, uh, the first track is Glimpse of Us, which everyone and their brothers heard. It's okay. Maybe I'll like it more here. Of course, this was all over TikTok. I hear it all the time. Because sometimes I look in her eyes and that's where I find a glimpse of us. Yeah, it is touching. It is... It's emotional. It's emotionally charged. It's real. It's genuine. And it's an interesting concept looking into the eyes of someone else and being brought to that past relationship that still haunts you. And it's good. I'm not crazy about it like other people were. I'd much rather listen to Attention, Slow Dancing in the Dark, Test Drive. Because it's just a piano ballad, you know. I'm not always huge on piano ballads, personally. I think the chorus is really good. Um, but it's just, um, not for me. I do like this chorus a lot, though. Yeah, you know, the song got a lot of love, a lot of acclaim, a lot of play. I've heard it a couple times. Of course, I hear that chorus all the time. Um, I don't know. I like Joji, I do. Like I said, I gave Ballads 1 a very good score and still come back to it. Well, I actually was listening to it earlier today. Um, but I'm going to give um, a glimpse of us. The black GameCube controller. It's not horrible. Um, not horrible at all. It's, it's more than listenable. I think that's a really sweet sentiment. I just am not always too big on, on piano ballads. Anyway, track two, Feeling Like the End. So this is more of what I like from Joji. The kind of very clean yet dark sounding guitars um, and Joji's kind of whispery falsetto create a mood and that's the kind of vibe I like from Joji that kind of nighttime it's raining and you're just sitting in your car looking out in the world thinking Oh, 
The incorporation of the acoustic guitar is really nice. Oh, so that's a really cool melody. I really like that melody, actually. Just very, very vibe worthy, you know? It creates a mood, it creates an atmosphere, and you just settle into that atmosphere. It's beautiful. It's chill, it's beautiful, it has this kind of nighttime feel. It's not too long, so it's never say it's welcome. You know, it's about a minute and a half. I really like feeling like the end, actually. Um, far more than the Glimpse of Us. Yeah. Feeling like the end. It gets the green. I love some of those melodies, of course. It just has all the aspects of why I enjoy Joji's music. It creates that vibe that you just settle into, that emotion you just settle into. Um, you know, especially, it just really resonates with someone like me. Um, anyway, longer song now. Track three, Die For You. Okay, it's got a bit of like a, almost like a little nostalgia to it. It's pretty. It is really pretty. It's just a vibe, man. It kills me a little, that's okay, because I die for you. Oh, those synths are like a wave crashing in. I really like all the electronic play on this song. They all sound so stellar. I was afraid it was going to end up being another uh, piano ballad and I'm glad it's not. That's really sweet. I, I heard that you're happy and I hope that it's true. It hurts me a little, but I'd still die for you. Uh, even though, you know, things are over um, and, and this person is in, in Joji's past, he still has these feelings for her and still, you know, will keep the promises he made to her when they were together or when they had prospects of being together or something like that. I think that's a really kind of sweet, almost nostalgic and, and super just loving sentiment. But also sad, you know, because chances are she doesn't feel the same, and you know, Joji's never gonna get back to that past. So that's interesting. This song, that synth was gorgeous. This song is just gorgeous with the layers of electronics and pianos. Oh, and it rings out at the end there, that synth. Oh, that was so pretty. Die For You was a gorgeous song and super sentimental. Um, that gets the green right up my alley lyrically and musically. It's just such a 
vibey song. Joji's always been a pretty vibey artist, though. That's, that's I think, his appeal. Um, track four, Before the Day is Over. This one's not giving me too much to hold on to here. Not much to grasp. Not bad, it sounds nice. It's just, it's kind of just happening before me, you know? But I was hoping you'd stay open this time. I know it won't be long. I know you're almost gone. Um, so before the day is over. It wasn't a bad song by any means. Um, it wasn't even necessarily boring. I just didn't have much to grasp onto or point out to. Uh, very good background music. Very good music to just vibe with. But not something I'm going to really ever seek out. Very nice sounding song. Very pleasant. Very vibey. Very chill. But nothing special. You know? So I'm going to give it... I'm going to give it a light or a strong... Black GameCube controller, I guess? Oh, I didn't even fucking talk about the rating scale, you know? If I like a song, I give it green. If I just think it sucks, I give it the red, or if it's bad. And if it's bad, I think it's the black. It's simple, it's not hard. I'm sure you all caught on. Um, yeah, the song gets the strong black, though, teetering on green, because it wasn't bad, like I said. There just wasn't much there. Um, full album listens, just throwing this bitch on in the background, you know? Uh, last track on this side, Dissolve. Um, that sounds like a Weezer song. <laughs> Wait, let me find it. Immediately I hear this. Doesn't it? We're not here to talk about Weezer, I love that song though. Um. Yeah, I hear it, it's just kind of slowed down a little, dropped a couple octaves. A little bit of reverb, but it's there. It sounds great, though. The way those pianos come in, really neat. They, like, fade in almost. It's a really nice sounding song. It's got a very rich sound to it. The auto tune is cool too. I like that it's playing with that. Those whistling electronics are neat as well. Ooh, like the... Oh, that layering is awesome. Is that a harmonica? No, it's a synth. Sounds cool. Man, that vocal layering is just gorgeous. Same story as the rest of them, man. I like this one a lot more, though. Rich, beautiful sound with some great layering, especially on the vocals. It's just, like I said, so pretty, vibey, chill, emotional. All these things that just make it super solid. Dissolve gets the green. That was a beautiful song. Anyway, 
uh, interestingly enough, this record's broken up into two discs, and this is disc two. Um, songs are significantly shorter on this disc. I don't know what the difference is going to be. But let's just jump right into it. Night Rider. Ooh. This has like a weird, dark, like foreboding atmosphere. A little more hip hop. Is this like a scorpion kind of thing? First half R&B, second half gonna be more rappy. Tell me how you wake up. I just wanna wake up. You if I will get This beat's fucking fire, actually. It's like a dark, moody kind of trap sound. I really like this. It's like doing like cardi inflections. Yet he can still sound absolutely beautiful on the vocals. Oh, those pianos. Wow. This is really pretty. Somehow it's really pretty and still goes pretty hard, too. That vocal effect, turning the, like, vocals into, uh, like, synths in the beat is really neat in the way it's... The intervals, um, uh, of them, they're cool. Uh, it's like continuously uh, ascending. That song was great. Um, it, it mashed uh, Joji's usual kind of chill R&B with kind of a moody trap sound. Um, I loved it. Night Rider gets the green. It's one of the best tracks in the record so far, actually. Um, okay. Blah, blah, blah demo. Okay. Guess who are? Doing an MGK kind of thing? I'm kidding. Not a fan of that melody. Um, just sounds really done before. I don't like that melody very much. I don't like the slowdown either. It's very awkward. It sounds like shit too. The 808s are so overblown. And like blown out. They sound like garbage. Yeah, it sounded like a really bad taste in my mouth. I thought the melodies in the first half were really felt cliched and done before. Uh, and then when it slowed down the um, 808s, the bass became so overblown and blown out and, and loud. Uh, and it just did not sound pleasant. Especially on a record so far that's held its end by being so pretty and being so chill and so relaxed and having a vibe and just sounding so nice on the ears. To have something all of a sudden be so nasty sounding... Uh, it's really, you know, turning heads, metaphorically turning my head at least, and being like, what are you doing, Joji? Um, blah, 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 demo gets the red. It's the first song in this record I've straight up disliked. 
Yukon interlude. That gave me... The piano at the beginning brought me right to attention. Literally. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know why. It was like I just got G-noted, but instead of it being fucking MCR, it's Joji. I overflow like mercury growing, glowing with uncertainty. Alright, this song's got a bit of a drive to it. Depending on with sleeping, it'll wake you up. It won't wake you up, but it'll pack you up a little bit. I'm also a fan of the fact that the song is doing something a little more upbeat, a little more driving. A, I don't want to say a banger, but a little more boppier. And it's not just fucking doing the triplet hi-hat that everyone does. You know what I'm talking about, that trap sound. Um, it's doing something a little more original, something a little different, and I like that. It's almost like kind of rattling. It's almost like... I don't want to say drum and bassy, because it's not that really implies something, but it's, it kind of is giving me a similar vibe. Piano works pretty, too. Some pretty somber strings. Ooh. And some kind of interstellar sounding sense at the end. Yeah, Yukon Interlude was good. You're back on track, Joji. It gets the green. It's just a very solid song. Last track, 1am freestyle. I don't have much to say about this record other than the fact that I've enjoyed it, you know? And it's not anything too different from what Joji does, but it's just been a vibe. With a name like 1am freestyle, I was hoping for something a little more low key and a little more raw. And obviously that's not what we're getting. It's layered, it's produced, which is fine. It'll probably turn out good. Um, I just have to say I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping for, I don't know, a pretty soul-bearing raw moment of just George talking. Not talking, but kind of wrapping his heart out or just kind of spilling what he's feeling. Um. So gorgeous. Yeah, the beat kind of came out of nowhere on me. It surprised me, but it's really good. It's it's very pretty. I feel like I'm a broken record this entire time. I'll explain a bit more why when the song's done. Mood. So, that was... That was Smithereens, and I kind of felt like I was a broken record. Oh, I gotta give that. It won't aim freestyle because it's green. I kind of felt like I was a bit of a broken record, but I feel like this record, for the most part, cultivated a sound, cultivated a vibe, got you in that emotion, got you in your feels, and then held you there, and kept you there the whole time, with the exception of maybe blah 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 demo. 
Um, and, and it didn't do much to stray from that that much. Uh, I mean, right after a glimpse of us, from feeling like the end to 1 p.m. freestyle, with the exception of, of like I said, blah, blah, blah. It, it got you in this feeling, it got you in this vibe, it got you in this headspace, and it kept you there. Um, not a lot of things change, not lyrically, not musically, but I like it. It is a vibey record. It's not something I think is mind-blowing or game-changing, but it's something that you put on and you just kind of lay down and listen to and lounge to and chill to. And that's not a problem. Not everything needs to be, you know, okay computer. Not everything needs to be Ants from Up Here. Um, not everything needs to be The Tempest Butterfly. It's okay to make an album that you can just be in your feelings to without being, you know, soul-crushing. It doesn't need to be The Glow Part 2 or anything. Um, it's just a good record. Um, yeah, you know, I enjoyed it. And I'd listen to it again. You know, when I'm in my feelings, when I'm kind of sad, throw it on, lay down, or... It's raining out. I don't think it's quite as effective as um, Ballads 1. I think Ballads 1 is this, but much better, obviously. Um, but this is still very solid. Um, I'll give it Smithereens by Joji. I almost said it by Filthy Frank. I mean, it is, but by Joji, a 7 out of 10. What did you guys think of this record? I don't know. I not much to say, but I liked it. I did. It's pretty. It's vibey. It's chill. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Yeah, yo, send your mom this.